In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Capture tool in the Smart Notebook 10 toolbar. The Capture tool is used in order to take a picture of anything that you'd like and add it onto a Smart Notebook file. So the best use for the Capture tool is when you're going to be creating a math lesson and you can choose to take captures of small parts of the journal pages or the student reference book um, that you'd like and add them to Smart Notebook to save them in a file to use them from year to year. So we're going to start by going into the Everyday Math, which is on the O drive, EM Interactive Teacher's Guide, and I'm going to choose fifth grade. When you open up the PDF, what you want to do is you want to find what lesson that you are on and what you would like to capture. So I am going to go into the resources, and I'm going to scroll down into the student math journal, and I'm going to scroll down into the second unit on estimation and computation, and then I can actually look at those specific journal pages. So I can flip through each of the journal pages and I'm just going to start capturing either a math box or I can do specific problems with adding partial sums. Now the key here is to make the part that you're going to be capturing as big as you can before you capture it. This is the way that you can keep the image as clear as possible. So I'm going to get rid of the bookmarks and then I'm going to use this positive and negative zoom in and zoom out to make this box that I'm going to be capturing as big as I can before I capture it. So now I have the section that I'd like to capture. Down on the bottom I need to go back into Smart Notebook. I need to grab the capture tool. When I grab the capture tool, I have this little floating toolbar that will stay active no matter what I'm on. So once I go back to the math boxes that I want to capture, I, this toolbar is still available. Now there are some options. I can select a certain part to capture. I can select the screen to capture. I can select the entire computer screen to capture. Or I can draw my own line around specifically what I want to capture. 99% of the time I use the first one, which is to allow you to capture a specific area. You also want to say capture to a new page, yes or no. I'm not going to since my first page is blank. So I'm going to click on the capture tool and now my cursor becomes drag and drop feature that allows me to drag and drop around whatever I'd like. I'm going to include the SRB reference pages. Once I let go, Smart Notebook saves that image and automatically puts it back into Smart Notebook. Now I have a math box that I can manipulate and I can make it smaller and I can make it larger on the screen. So uh, now I'm going to go create a new page and I'm going to go back and get the next math box. So I go back to my Everyday Math PDF. I try to get the area that I want to capture as big as I can before I capture it. Again I'm going to use the Capture tool drag and drop around the problem. Once I let go, it automatically puts it into Smart Notebook. Okay, So I have it here on the next page. I can make it smaller. I can make it larger. So using the Capture tool, it allows you to capture different images of different things and place them into Smart Notebook. Now, it's really important that you probably want to go through and you want to capture different parts of the math lesson prior to teaching it. The reason why you can do that is because then you can use them every year and you just save the blank lesson. So I'm going to capture these two and I'm going to put them into this new file here. So now if I had all the math boxes or things that I wanted the students to do, now I could save this blank file so that next year, when I'm doing Math Boxes 2.2, I can always go back into my Smart Notebook and allow the students to interact with it. 